Hello everyone, this is Jeremy from Dust3D. Dust3D is a quick 3D modeling software. I usually post one video per week to share the progress of the development on this software and the things related with it. First, I'm very excited to share that Dust3D has been awarded Epic Mega Grant. It's a very exciting news, thanks to Epic Games and uh, all the contributors. Uh, especially, uh, thanks, special thanks to uh, Michael Nowak. He suggested Dust3D should apply for this funding in the first day of this mega grants announced. And I followed his advice and uh, submitted the application very early, and then got granted. This is how the great thing is happening. The total grant is 10,000 US dollars. It's a good start for this tiny software. This uh, will make other great things happening also. I wrote um, Dust3D Indie Game Asset Contest draft um, almost a half year ago or several months ago. And I was planning to set up an open connection account to collect money. Actually, I registered and got it uh, approved, but I never advertised it. Now, the award money is ready in another way, so I'm going to finalize the contest in the near future. Or maybe it's not a contest, just a practice, like 10 minutes every day. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment below. Next, Dust3D got a chance to show on the library graphics meeting 2019, introduced by Baldwin Ramped. The official video came out this week. Please check the link in the description. Next, I planned um, to implement a rural language-based system to generate nodes two weeks ago, thanks to the suggestion by Aaron. The exact release data of the video is 6 July. And uh, three days later, QuickJS come out. First public release. This is another great thing. The reason I picked Lua is because of it's very tiny and fast compared to other alternatives. But QuickJS is also tiny and even faster than Lua based on someone's benchmark on the Hack News. It doesn't take me too much effort to embed it into Dust3D, but because it also use cross-compare environment for Windows, this is a different compare strategy than Dust3D. In Dust3D, I use a native Visual Studio, so I have to do many dirty fixes for Windows. I have committed the code and uh, to master branch. It works on Mac, uh, but Windows and the Linux builds still broken. I uh, need more time to fix it. Besides the QuickJS, there is a, another tiny JavaScript engine called Duktable. It's also a good choice if you want to support the JavaScript lang language in your software. It's an embeddable JavaScript engine with a focus on portability and a compact footprint. I tried it before. It had a similar API as Lua, and if you look at uh, Oso's file on GitHub, you can actually see my name on the list. I remember I did a trivial fix of the example code. It happened many years ago. Next, Alfred Dobbin suggested uh, STL file format exporting. I did a quick check. Looks like STL is similar to OBJ since uh, we already support OBJ, and my friends and uh, I have printed some modes on MakeBot with OBJ format, so it's not very urgent for STL format, I guess, but if someone wants to contribute a pull request, I would like to merge it. Thanks, Alfred Dovin. Uh, the issue link in the description. Next, I received a direct message uh, from Nico. She sent uh, her Duster3D mode to me and asked for some suggestions about how to mode ahead in Duster3D. It's a little bit a challenge for me to do human mode, especially for the head part. I did some tests and fixed some issues for the software. Also, I thought it may be helpful to others, so let's do this together. By the way, I have Leo uh, Nico's Twitter link in the description. Please check her Twitter if you need a direct contact. Okay, let's do it. Let's open the mode uh, I received from Nico. Uh, this uh, is not the original mode. Uh, I did some changes to the I removed all the colors of the model, and uh, you can see the the head and the clothes are the remaining parts to be finished. And uh, what she asked is how to make her head. Actually, the head and the clothes of human body is are quite a challenge for me also. And you can see from my ten minutes every day, I usually not do human body. I do animals and. Hard surface, simple projects, simple objects. Mm, okay, let's first finish the easy part, the growth. 
Um, first, uh, you should make a cut face. What's a cut face? Is is if you use a scissor to to cut the clothes, and they they will leave a cut face. And uh, let's first make this. And then you right click the on this part and choose the target to cut face. And it will be removed from the whole mode and just here is a cut face. So you can choose from you can choose from the other parts context menu. Now I had all the all the parts on this. So I can focus on the cross. You can right click and choose head all or you can move the mouse on some part and the Click the H key, and then you can click H key to hide some parts, and then you can click H key again, and it will show back. So let's hide all the parts. Let's make the shape of the growth. It's not a shape; it's, it's like a span. First is the front view. The orange color is the front view, and the green color is the side view. And then click the A key to add a node, or you can click the plus icon. On the left toolbar, okay. This is the block shape of the cross. Uh, or when you want to select some nodes like this, it's, it's quite hard to select because the, these nodes intersect. So if you want to select these three, the bottom three nodes, but it's very hard to select, then you can select from the other profile, the side view, and then click the E key, E means exchange, E key, to change to the front view, and then you can manipulate these nodes. Um, I have did some many changes, so let's just first save it. Save it. This is the just the basic block shape of the clothes, and uh, we did a cut face before, so we can use this cut face to fill this block shape. You see from here, you can select it. Now you see the direction is not correct, but you can you can directly rotate this cut face. It's on the keyboard. It's the comma key, and uh, it's it's the greater than and the less than key. On the corner of the keyboard, you can use it to rotate the part. Or you can you can rotate it from here. There's a rotation parameter you can adjust. Okay, okay. it's close. Almost to finish. Close. By the way, this reference suit, uh, a reference art is designed by the Nico, designed by herself. It's, it's very good. And uh, now we almost finished the cross part. Let's do the head. You can move the render result by holding the shift key and uh, click the middle mouse button to move around or just uh, the, uh, Scroll the middle button to zoom in and zoom out. Okay, let's do the head part. You can you can right click to cancel the edit mode. Then you can select the other profile, side view to continue. The default uh, cut face is a uh, square. You can click here to subdivide it. Then it will look much smoother.
Okay, almost. Uh, let's make a hammock for the head. Like before, we first to make a cat face for the hammock. Choose the target is cut face. Now hide are the parts at all. Let's continue. I cannot remember which one is which. Pick a slightly different color so I can see parts. Let's rotate it. Sometimes when you see the part became red and the part preview became red and uh, the the warning message that means the mesh is generating failed. So that means the some uh, self intersection. Uh, you can zoom a little bit or change or change the cut face a little bit. Okay, fair again. So that means this uh, this cut face and this cut face will intersect, and that will make the mode of self intersection and it will fail. So we can show the header back and uh, scale it a little bit. Pick a color for the cross. Mm. Okay, almost done. By the way, you can double click the any nodes and it will select the whole part and then you can use the the keyboard uh, up, down, left, right key to move it. Uh, some, uh, there's another thing to almost to mention is that sometimes uh, you you don't want uh, two parts to combine. You can choose like Choose like a here and choose the mode is uncombined. Then the leg will not combine with the body. You can choose it. But sometimes you want it. Sometimes you don't want. Okay, nice. It's almost done. Okay, this uh, this is the week. If you like the software. For the video, please click the subscribe and the like button. Thank you all, and uh, see you next time.